good. What kind of future do you think she has ahead of her given her, her role in Fifty Shades of Grey as well? I think it's a pretty grand future. She's, you know, she just was in a Johnny Depp movie and she's now in Sicily uh, with, with Ray Fiennes and Tilda Swinton. So I don't, I think her career is going to be all right, you know? I think it will be. What about Imogen as a heroine, though? She is heroic. She's, she's, there's something pure of heart about her. My, my first instincts when I was first doing it was, my instinct was to make her more of a resistant and resentful teen, you know, daughter. But Dakota had some faith in her innocence and in her, her belief in her own emotions. And her, uh, there's something really lovely about her sense of faith. And um, so it changed. When Dakota came aboard, there was a recognition that she could be a little more pure of heart, that she didn't have to be... Like I'd, I'd, I'd done other Shakespeare adaptations where, where there was an undercurrent of bitterness or resistance. And I, I felt... I felt more optimistic about the character. There are obviously many ways you can play Imogen, but she has a lot of resilience because it's someone who starts out with a great deal of faith and she's crushed, she's absolutely annihilated, and then she has to kind of rep repair herself, re 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 reassemble herself. So she gets lost and found within the context of the, the story, and I think that's very moving, and I'm glad you felt she could handle that, depict that.